What's up, everyone? I'm Carlos, Brooklyn fragrance lover. I'm in New Jersey at my friend Steven, Red Lessons. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. What's up, guys? Thank you for watching. He's a really good cook. He made some great guacamole today, <laughs> some Coronas. All right, so today we're going to talk about one of my personal favorites. It's a women's perfume, yes. It's um, none other than Tom Ford's Black Orchid. It was released in 2006. It was created by Shiva Don. Mm -hmm. Some of the notes include jasmine, black truffle, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, chocolate. Vanilla. It's, it's a gourmand, and it's one that's definitely, in my opinion, wearable by a guy. Yeah. Um, when was, you said you've tried it for a long time ago, right? I have tried it. You know, every time I go to Sephora, I always pick it up, and I, you know, I'll spray it on a test strip, but I never actually went home with a sample, mm -hmm. and I never actually tried it on skin until now. And, uh, well, his reaction, I wish we had recorded yeah. <laughs> when he first put on, he really liked it. I still do like it. I mean, what do you get out of it? All right. So, you know, off the top, it's very gourmand and it's also a little bit floral too. Now that mm -hmm. orchid note really does start to come through. So I think it's very aptly named, but I think the gourmand nuances is really what makes it both accessible for men and women at the same time. You know, of course you see chocolate very predominantly mm -hmm. in men's fragrances, vanilla in men's fragrances and vice versa. And in this one, his arm is waving in the air, I'm getting whips and whips and he only put up one little spray. So that's what kind of juice this is here. It's a testament to how well it performs, right? Yeah. So um, I actually really do like this. I mean, I know there's this one, there's also a flanker called Voix de Fleur. Mm -hmm. uh, the men's... That uh, one's more, more, more heavy on the floral. Is it? Opinion. Yeah. Okay. But that, that's one I've never tried. But Velvet Orchid is another good one, which I haven't reviewed. It's very close to this. I call it like Black Orchid Light if you will. Okay. Um, how I came across that one, actually how I came across this one, I was helping a woman in my store and she smelled amazing. I was like, what are you wearing? That's when I found it. Velvet Orchid, the flanker, there was this guy, um, he came into my department. He's walk looking around and I'm like, what's that smell? That can't be him. He's got a baseball cap. Like, well, yeah, yeah, regular yeah. New York, you know, tough guy. And it was him. He said, it's Velvet Orchid. He goes, it's for women. But I was like, all right, cool. So I went and got that one. So it's equally just as good. But this, it lasts on me forever. And yeah. whenever, however I wear this, always, always, always gets a compliment. Really? Yeah, okay. for sure. I mean, like, it's all, it always gets noticed. I've worn it to, like, a Christmas parties at the job and, like, six, seven compliments. It just works wow. really well on my skin. Wow. The vanilla is what lasts the longest out of everything, but um, it's, it's just a wonderful fragrance, and I, I'm so happy that it's probably in my top five. I can definitely see the sweetness is what makes people want to compliment you because mm -hmm. you smell it right away. You're addicted to that chocolate, the vanilla. It almost has like the sensual or alluring in. component yeah. to it. Yeah, definitely. But the patchouli is there too, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah the patchouli is definitely up on top, noticeable, but well, it's not too dirty. You know, I like that I... about it because I think, you know, a lot of Terry Mugler's have patchouli. Mm -hmm. I know Angel is a yes. sort of gourmand, caramel sort of patchouli. Yeah. This one is like a chocolate patchouli, but it's not as dirty as Terry Mugler's Angel. So I think for people who do want a gourmand patchouli scent, but they don't want a dirty patchouli, this is a really good option. Wifey didn't like too much, did she? No, not this one. <laughs> no. A little bit too much for her. Yeah. But you like it. Would you consider a bottle? I would consider a bottle. And it's funny that you mentioned the guy with the baseball cap at your job wearing mm -hmm. this one. Because whenever I do go to Sephora, it is in the women's section. And the orientation of my Sephora is you walk in, you have to pass the women's fragrances mm -hmm. first to get to the men's. But I can't help but not glance at the women's offerings. And this is one that always uh, diverts my gaze. I always look at this bottle and the other uh, Tom Ford bottles right next to it. And this is one that I always pick up when I go in there. Mm -hmm. Never actually tried it out on skin. I'm really glad that you brought it today. Before this, before I found this, I would never in a million years thought of wearing a women's perfume. Yeah. No way. But this broke that barrier for me. And ever since, I haven't looked back and <laughs> I mean, I know you don't wear flowers so much, but I, I'll wear Carnival Flower. I'll wear Central Park West. Yeah, you know, I, I, I love tubros, the, the new Bond Queens. Okay. So you don't wear florals, but you would consider this? I would consider this only because I think it's it, it's in perfect harmonious balance with the Gourmand notes. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's another fragrance that I really like by Kate Walsh called Boyfriend. Yes. And that one has That's a lot of like myrrh and resins, mm -hmm. but it's also sweet. There's a little bit of florals, not That's as not much available as the flanker. Anymore. That's really? discontinued. Um, I, I mentioned a bottle of that. Everybody talks about that one. Yeah, I have a bottle, so yeah. oh. gladly I did pick it up. Sample! <laughs>
But uh, yeah, I really do like this one. I think this is one of the women's offerings that could also be worn by men. You know, right. kind of like you know how you stop by and they, they have the Un Jardin series, and yes. sometimes it's in the mm -hmm. women's, sometimes it's in the men's. This is definitely one that should be right in between because I think it's very unisex friendly. Yeah. So Black Orchid with Mr. Renaissance here, <laughs> one of my all-time favorites. Definitely check it out. Thanks for being on. No, definitely. Thank you. Thank you for having me in your video. I'll have a link to my lessons down below. Take care, everyone.